Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassandra here, and if you're new, I post videos all on beauty and lifestyle and just about anything that tickles my fancy. No, I am not naked. I actually have a top on. It's like a swimsuit cover up. Um, but I'm going to get ready. I'm here about to get ready, and that's why I look so crazy. <laughs> not that you guys haven't seen me looking crazy before, but I am going to do like a little get rid of with me vlog type style of video I guess this is gonna be um yeah so I need to take a new passport picture my passport expired sometime in May and I need to get it renewed because your girl needs to get out of the United States I just need to go back to Jamaica for a while I miss my family I haven't been there in a very long time and I just want to go away as soon as the borders are open to get some like mental clarity fresh air like good food you know there's no place like being in the place that you were born into there's no place like that um anyways i am y'all y'all gonna see me getting ready because you know i guess this is just gonna be uh what i put on my face every day type video um and i guess i'm gonna be yapping a lot about what has been going on so i felt very uncomfortable posting any beauty videos lately um the glare on my glasses is ridiculous like i don't have any context so just bear with me guys just bear with me um anyways i didn't feel very comfortable um posting any videos lately uh because of all the stuff that was going on in the news with regards to protesting and the few riots that's been going on because I think this is an important conversation to have and I don't want to like just post something talking about uh, beauty when I haven't like addressed certain topic and I think it doesn't matter what your platform is you have to speak out against injustices regardless of how small your channel is regardless of how um, invisible you may feel your voice is because um, if you say nothing nothing gets done um, so I am gonna do like I guess this is gonna be like a really chatty get rid of me video type vlog style video because I didn't want to post all the videos I pre-filmed without addressing this topic so um, I just washed my face you can see I have a lot of surface dryness going on I had to like re-wet my face and what I've been using lately is my um, rice toner I did a haul on all the stuff I got from which trend I'm gonna post this video um, that video right after this one but I've been really loving this a lot lately it has been helping my surface dryness a lot I have oily skin but um, when I wash my face sometimes I use certain um, cleansers on my face that can be very drying this just like keeps my skin very supple and hydrated and it's the high I'm from rice if I haven't mentioned toner I love this stuff I really really love this stuff um, so let me take my glasses off so yeah um there's been a lot of protesting lately and I think it's just it's I find it to be very amazing because finally like finally the world is talking about and having a discussion and addressing the plight of black people all over the world and I just think it's a very important conversation to have amongst your family um, it's not a conversation of just black people talking about uh, racism and what's been going on with in regards to like uh, policing of black people policing of black and brown people but I like to say black people because I mean the database the statistics in the database are there that how police interact with black people is a lot differently than how they interact with white Caucasian people um, and I think it's an important conversation to have I'm kind of at the point where I a part of me don't want to um, See anything else on social media because at the end of the day it's like all of, a lot of times when stuff like this happens um, whenever a black man gets killed by a police officer it's almost as if like it gets swept under the rug and nobody really wants to talk about it so I think it's great that we're talking about everything that's going on right now and I guess my thoughts is probably gonna be a little bit rambly in this video so forgive me um, but it's just at least right now it's great to see that we're trying to get some kind of justice being done but at the end of the day like I think that 
um, it, there's a bigger issue that's been going on for years. It's nothing new. Um, like racism within the police department is nothing new. Um, police brutality is nothing new. It's just that a lot of this stuff is being filmed. Thanks to social media, everything can go uploaded and get viral. So I think it's just, I think it's great that everybody's seen what's really been going on. And I think that I love to see a lot of influencers trying to amplify the voices of black people that are being victimized against um, by the police departments in their cities. So yeah. Um, like I've been going through a range of emotions. Every time I see these, these um, things on social media, like I get very angry because it just made me realize that it makes me, and I'm trying not to like, I'm holding back my emotions. It just makes me realize that there are a lot of people in this country that doesn't think that your life matter, that you deserve to be treated with respect and that you deserve to be treated as a human being. And it's crazy that my tax dollars are going to a lot of these police officers pockets that are meant to protect uh, black and brown people. It just, it makes me very angry because a lot of times none of these things, these things happen and then nothing gets done about it. So I'm happy that everybody's waking up and everybody's protesting and marching. Like what I want to see done is I want to see a complete reform of the entire um, police department across the country, across the t country. Uh, what I want to see done is that we ad address um, the inequalities that goes on in certain neighborhoods and how police are conducting their policing, I guess, in those neighborhoods. And what I want to see done is I want to see more funding in these neighborhoods because a lot of times when these black and brown kids um, join gangs, black kids join gangs, and you know, people like to talk about black and black crime as if white on white crime is nothing too. You know, people kill people based on where they live and their environment. So black and black crime isn't no different than white and white crime. But I do think that a bigger problem is the, a bigger problem that is happening in these low income neighborhoods is that there's no form of opportunities for these kids. There's no form of like mentorship or anything. And it would be nice to see um, governments uh, taking a lot more, taking initiative to put more funding into these neighborhoods. That way we can address the overall um, crime that goes on in these neighborhoods and therefore we would need to have these aggressive policing in these neighborhoods. Also, I do think a lot of these police officers, there are a bunch of KKK in the police officer. If you don't know what the history of police officer, well, of the, if you don't know what the history of the police department is, I suggest you look it up. Um, I'll probably try to find links so you guys can read and understand why it is that um, officers tend to police a lot of black people differently than um, Caucasian police officers and I suggest you guys take a look at that. I'm like really wiping my face because I'm like really, really going on. Okay, so I'm done with my toner. Um, I already moisturized my lip with my Bite Beauty um, lip balm. Um, and I'm going to go in with my Murad Advanced Active Radiant Serum. I love this serum. It's very expensive, but I actually got this in Marshalls because that's where it I got it for a lot cheaper on the Mirad website. I think it's like $90, but when I got it, I got it in Marshalls for $20. That's why I cannot wait for Marshalls to reopen so I could go in there because I know they're probably going to have a lot of sales. And then I'm going to be using my Intensive Hydrating Serum, Green Tea Serum, um, together, you know, and then I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. So, yeah, that's that on, that's my little, like... It's not a rant. That's just my, my thought on policing and police brutality and so on and so forth. So I just hope that we can all have a conversation about race and it not feeling uncomfortable. So I think it's just nice that a lot of um, people are having conversations on, uh, on race. And I would love if a lot of Caucasians, <laughs> why Caucasian people are able to openly have these conversations. I know it's uncomfortable 
um, but it's it's great to just have an open dialogue with any of your friends that are black about these issues and what you as a person can do in order to address certain issues speak out against injustices when you see them and um, knowledge you know um, become very knowledgeable on certain issues and just speak out against them you know vote voting is very important I know sometimes it feels like you your vote doesn't matter but that's also very important <laughs> Um, that's very very important and just become aware of all the issues that are going in, on in your neighborhood and in your community um, especially black people just become very more very aware um, <clears throat> of things that are going on in your neighborhood and in your community um, black young people as well yeah, that's always a good thing Anyways, next up I'm gonna go in with my Claire's Soft Air UV Essence. I really have been loving this um, sunscreen. It is a uh, SPF 50 plus PA++ broad spectrum sunscreen water based. So it's very oil skin, oily skin friendly and I just love it. And the best thing about this stuff is that it doesn't leave a white greasy cast. I'm going to do a video on sunscreen probably today because um, I think I'm going to do a multiple filming today to talk about multiple um, products <laughs> that I've been loving. Um, but yeah, so that's my little bit on police brutality and rent and um, I guess that's my bit on police brutality and policing and black racism and all that stuff i like to put it this is why i wear a top like this because i like to put it all over my neck all over my chest and if you are black you need to wear a sunscreen don't believe the hype okay don't believe the hype while our skin doesn't necessarily age as quickly not everybody but for the most part the melanin in our skin protects us from aging um, rapidly we do get a lot of skin damage um, when you see moles all over your skin which is what I have on my chest right now that's skin damage okay so it is very important to wear sunscreen all over your body I actually do have a spray sunscreen SPF 50 that I like to spray all over my body but um, I just use um, the sunscreen all over my neck and my face so this is my face and that's my routine when it comes to my face uh, summertime I've been very 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 um minimal with my makeup and my um skincare lately and um, I've been focusing more on my skin care and just keeping my skin nice and like hydrated um, not oily and trying to get rid of the rest of hyperpigmentation on my face so yeah I'm gonna get my makeup uh, together get my hair together and I think I'm gonna come back because I don't want to make this a super long video so I'm gonna do that off camera and then I guess I'll come back and talk about the products that I've used and then we could head outside to go get my passport picture taken okay so this is the finished look um this is a photo I'm gonna have for the next 10 years so I kind of want my passport picture to look a little bit decent compared to what it used to look like <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I have let me see if I could like insert the picture right here or here and yeah I just wanted to look a little bit better than what I looked like 10 years ago um again this is a this is a passport that I'm gonna have for the next 10 years of my life so I want to look a little bit decent anyways on my face on my face I didn't I try to stay as natural as possible I didn't have like super natural lashes I really wish I did but I did not um but I use my Huda Beauty warm obsession palette I probably talk about this palette to death. Um, I really love this palette. And then on my lips, I have Max Crosswire, which is like this cute pinky um, nude. I wish it was not so more pink and a little bit more like mauve color, but it is what it is. And then I have my um, CoverGirl full spectrum lip gloss that I've been wearing for a while and that's that so we are about to head outside I'm gonna try to see if I could get it at this place that I got it done 10 years ago if not I'm going to go to probably Walgreens even though I really don't like going to Walgreens because or um Rite Aid because they like they just don't know what they're doing but we shall see anyways let's get out of here so I had to like fix this lash um this lash I was looking back at the footage and I'm like trying to fix this lash that's the thing these are Ardell 120s that's the thing with lashes sometimes you have to like C 
see how you look and then like try to adjust it as you go so. okay so because i don't have my contact lens i have to wear my glasses which tends to have like little uh, marks around my nose you're probably not going to see it in a passport picture but quick tip if you have oily skin make sure you carry some oil blot and sheets so you could just pat your face before you take your photo and because i'm wearing my glasses i'm just going to walk with my cover girl um powder to just dab around my nose because i am going to take the glasses off and because I want my photo to look decent, okay? There's like no sun in this apartment, but like I was saying, for those of you guys don't know, I live in the Bronx because your girl cannot afford rent in Manhattan. It is team too expensive. And I recently moved to this place, which I actually like it because I don't have to pay as much rent as I used to like um, pay, and I just love this area. It's so much nicer over here. I used to live here a couple years ago, and then we decided to move again. Um, so, yeah. So this is my little fit for the day. Oh, let me see if I can get my camera to like flip around. I just moved in here and I like broke the mirror. So this is my fit for the day. Um, just my little sandals, my jeans from American Eagle. I love these jeans. And my little button down top. I brought a jacket because I don't know how cold it's gonna be. It's not cold. It's pretty um warm but like i'm caribbean and we don't like the cold okay so yeah so we're gonna go outside and y'all gonna spend the day with me or a part of my day anyways so let's go and this is a situation that's been going on for the past like couple of weeks now i have like five different pairs of shoes um my toes need to get done they're so disgusting and i just leave everything right here look at this like i don't even know why i still have like the size on that shoe but yeah and i can't forget my mask and my keys yeah so i have the renewal application here which i'm going to fill out when i get the photos taken um so time to go The light in here is so bad. But I just came home. Um, that was like an hour and a half of my life. I got my passport photos taken, which I'm not really a fan of. I ha actually, I went to the place that I usually go to and they were closed um, due to COVID. So I had to go to Walgreens. And uh, like I said, I really did not want to go to Walgreens because they're the worst when it comes to taking like photos. Um, I got my photo taken. I'm not really a fan of it. I don't even want to show anybody. I'm not really a fan of it, but at this time, like, I don't really care. I just need my passport to be renewed so I could get it, and hopefully like, I get it in time. Um, my goal is to take a trip to Jamaica because I miss my family, um, either in September or sometime in November. And, uh, yeah, so that was what I did. I also went and got, like, some food. My table is like a hot mess. So I also went and got some food from Panera. Um, the only time I really eat at Panera is on during the summertime when they have their salads. I adore their salads. It's not even like I didn't have food in the house. Like I actually had food in the house. So I went and got me a salad and their onion soup, which is my favorite. So I'm gonna chow down on that and continue my day. Mm, I love their poppy seed strawberry salad is my favorite and then I got my favorite thing also which is the onion soup these are all like the only two things I eat from Panera because they're Panera is just like you know overpriced cafeteria food and then I got a baguette which I don't know why I chose a baguette because I don't even know this is like safe to eat during COVID time I don't know I'm probably not going to eat this but I'm really excited for their onion soup. Like, if you guys yeah. um, like soups, I suggest trying Panera's onion soup. It's like the best thing ever. I never thought I would like onion soup, but it's so good. My face, my face looks so fat. Um, anyways, I need a vlog camera because it's very hard for me to try to vlog with this bulky camera. Um, I have a Canon, a Canon um, uh, Rebel T6i. So it's a little bit heavy in the hand and that's why I didn't do like a lot of like vlogging outside. One, 
I am not used to vlogging, walking around with a camera and talking to a camera. It's kind of weird to me. Um, I just need to get comfortable with that. And two, this thing is heavy. This thing is like so heavy, but anyways, this is what I'm trying down on. I didn't feel like sitting at a table. I like to just sit right in the couch. Um, this is my favorite thing in the world. It got like onions, French onions in it. Um, it has a little bit of mozzarella cheese at the bottom. Ideally, you're supposed to de eat it with this. Um, I don't know if I want to like eat this. Like, is it safe <laughs> to be eating these things? I don't know. And then my favorite thing, which is the poppy seed salad. So I'm gonna chat on on this. And I have a bunch of stuff I need to complete, like filling out my um, application, get myself a facial because this is not what's it right now. Like the mask. It's just really been a little bit rough on my skin lately. And I want to take off all this makeup because I haven't made, worn foundation in like a really long time. I told myself I wasn't going to wear foundation anymore. Only when necessary. Obviously, I want to take a nice photo. So that was necessary. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> it's not really a very eventful day. So this is going to be like my very uneventful vlog. To get some organizational this lighting is everything so I am going to clean up a little bit again uneventful vlog just clean up my living area a little bit and then I'm gonna film some videos for my channel this week and I may or may not do laundry I don't know I really don't feel like doing it <laughs> but I probably should because there's a dress that's dirty that I really want to wear this week and yeah that's just, this is it I honestly I really brought my camera over to show you guys my flowers my flowers my orchids I am I am obsessed with orchids like I think they make the best gifts ever um, I'm not sure what exactly it means when you give somebody an orchid I know it's something in like Chinese tradition I have no idea um, but I got a yellow and this one I just got at Aldi's because they had it on sale and yeah I'm like so obsessed so obsessed okay so I think I'm gonna end this little uneventful vlog right here because I do have to edit um, I'm like covering this up because this is like a sticker of my unit um, I have to edit and I also have to get myself together for work um, I have a lot of videos like a lot of videos that I need to get through and I like to edit everything all as much as I can and then post them and then I just like um, upload them I, I upload everything and then I like to like um, on private them as I as the days go by so that's that um, I also want to say that I know I did like a bit of a very strong opinion in this video and I don't think it's like a strong opinion I think that's just a general consensus of like most black people in this country but I also think that um, I'm not saying that all police officers are horrible I myself actually applied to be in the NYPD um, and I decided to like not go through this, that process because one I am not meant to be a cop I really am not I know not all cops are bad, but me personally, I'm just not meant to be a cop at all. It's just not in my calling. I feel like I have a lot, um, a bigger purpose in life and me doing that is not going to fulfill my purpose in life at all. Um, so that's that. Um, so I don't want anybody to think that like I'm bashing police officers. I am not. I'm just saying that policing um, needs to be reformed. Um, but that's about it. I think that's all I have to say on that um i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of like this little uneventful vlog i will make it a little more exciting there's not much i can do one and two trying to vlog with my camera is very hard like this camera is very big and it's very heavy and my little moon my little like peony arms i need to i need to do some more push-ups okay i really do so thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all bye guys